a church for Taylor Swift. A church for Taylor Swift? Yeah, it's like, a, it's like she's the goddess. That is crazy. What is, are you guys required to clean up after them? How do you feel about that? Oh, wow. Shuffling up. Yeah, that's the textbook there. Wow. That's the text. Oh. oh my God. God. Nashville is known for its vibrant city, good music, and great people. But what no one talks about is the river people living just five minutes out of Broadway. Let's go investigate. Come on. So when you cross over this bridge from the downtown area, you're gonna be in East Nashville. And just underneath this is a full Cumberland River. And there is huts, towns, cities built amongst the homeless people that are living down here. We can start seeing them right there. This guy has his homemade motorbike. Wow, check this out. I'm telling you, these people are geniuses almost living here, creating these things that you don't see on the outskirts of Nashville. Yeah, look at this thing. This, at someone this. built this. It's got an engine and a battery. And it has hubcaps. Wow. Look at this. Come down here. Look, this guy has a window. He has windows yeah. at his house. Look. So some of the people living down here are living quite good. I mean, this is a riverfront home, if you think about it. He has a window, a whole canopy for privacy. That's living better than some people that are living up here in houses. By the way, I may look a little different right now. I accidentally did this and I had to just commit. I missed my beard and my mustache. Hey, look, this guy has a generator right here. Two generators and bikes and tools and batteries. Where are they getting it from? Are they stealing it? Let's calm down. We don't want to put any judgments on anyone, but it looks like this is the way to lead down to there. I'm just a little bit weary about approaching. We can't do that yet. Let's take a path all the way down. Oh, it looks like there's some people coming right now. Let's just see if we can get a little bit of an interview out of them. What's going on, man? How are you? Right on, right on. We're doing good. Do you happen to live around here, down here? Uh, find a place to unload. Okay, right on. Where, where were you guys staying before? Uh, I stay everywhere. <laughs> So what brings you down over here by the river? Uh, getting the hell out of downtown. Okay. It's not safe, it's yeah, not it's safe, not safe downtown? downtown? What no. happens downtown? People steal your shit every night whenever you fall asleep. Oh, shit. Uh, I get attacked regularly because people lie. Detectives say Marquise Churchwell was stabbed last night on Representative John Lewis Way near Church Street. What do you mean an attack? Uh, different rumors like physically attacked. Really? Like, yeah. So is it? Threatened me with weapons. Oh I've had my guns God. pulled on me, weapons pulled on me, all types of stuff. Wow. And this all happened right here in Broadway downtown area? Yeah, Broadway downtown Oh area. my God. So do you have any buddies that have ever been killed on the streets out here? Uh, none of mine, but uh, you know, people disappear. Metro police searched this portion of Harding Place where they believe Cedric walked for any clues. They also showed his photo to homeless residents in this area to see if they recognized him, but no one had seen him. Quite sure. often and then there's no, you know, the, the homeless people don't show up in the newspaper. That's yeah, sure. that is true. Do you feel that you're you're safer down here, but also you're more out of the public eye? So do you feel like it could be a little bit more dangerous down here, infiltrating other people's areas already? I mean, you know, we're peaceful, we're trying to be peaceful people. Most people just don't know what peace means. Sure. They, uh, all they know is chaos, you know? True. I mean, even in like a civilized society, but macroscopic society doesn't work. We yeah. get back down to the tribal times of being here together to gather. Amazing. You're all exactly. Up. Awesome. What was your name? Uh, what do you go by? Go by Gata. Gata. I yeah. like that. Awesome, my man. Keep well, my good luck. Of, uh, for sure. Yeah. Of course, man. Good luck. Life. Take care. Honestly, I, he sounded way more normal than people I talk to on a daily basis. Yeah, he basis. sounds intelligent. He sounds like, you know, life just kind of got thrown at him in the wrong way. And that's what happens a lot with the people that are down here. So after hearing what the newcomers had to say, let's see what this taxpaying civilian thinks of all these river people living down on his walking trail. How do you feel? Do you feel safe walking with all the homeless tribes that are here? No. Yeah. Have they ever bothered you? or Not at all. They mind their own business? Yes. Are they, have you ever met any of them? Yes, Are they, quite a few of them. Do you? Yes. Really? We're actually making a video. Maybe you could introduce us to someone. All you gotta do is yell at, go to the camp and yell at them. They're, they're pretty decent people. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you, man. Awesome. Appreciate you. Thank you. you. So, clearly safety is a factor to keep in mind, and clearly people are feeling safe. Jason. Jason? The bicycle swamp on at the end is Brian. 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 So, Jason and Brian. Jason, Swamp, and Brian. Jason, Swamp, and Brian. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Talking to locals really helps you get into the door of these places. Let's go see if we can reach out to Jason. Hey, Jason! All right, we're gonna go pop in. Jason! Hey, Jason! Hey, buddy, how are you? Do you mind if I come in here and say hi? How are you? My name is Brennan, and this is my brother, Jake. Yeah. We're making a little documentary. I don't know if you'd be interested in just talking to us. I got, I can give you like five bucks or something for a couple questions. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll work. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm just doing a church for Taylor Swift. You're doing what? A church for Taylor Swift. A church for Taylor Swift? Yeah, it's like a, it's like she's the god. And... Oh, cool. That is crazy. What is? <laughs> so you're a big Swifty? Yeah. Okay. One of them. That is awesome. There's tons of Swifties out there. And I got brought out something that I'm, I've been doing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love not to see what you're doing. Not gonna take out the whole. No, of course. Whole thing, but like icons. Oh, cool. Like of her. Wow, you drew those yourself? Uh, yeah. Wow, you're talented. How does it go about praising Taylor Swift? Well, we're, we do like uh, prayers and revivals and... Okay, so... They, these are like icons, but I call them Swift cons. Swift cons. <laughs> hey, maybe you sell those as trading cards one day, you know? Yeah, and they got scriptures on the back and... Wow, do you mind reading one of those scriptures for us? Uh, let's see here. Here's a good one. This one right here. Okay. It's like a scripture from the Bible I'm going to write. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it the Holy Swift. <laughs> the Holy Swift. It's a, uh, for Taylor Swift so loved the world, she gave all eternity of life to those in her name so that who believe in her should not perish but have eternal life. And then the 17th verse is, uh, for Taylor did not come into the world to condemn it, but to save it and pre preserve it wholly in her name, but those who reject her and condemn or are condemned be condemned already for not worshiping her name wow okay that's really thought that thoughtful for sure yeah uh, well cool that's cool to know um quick question though i see this is your spot here right do you yeah. is it just you that I, lives here there's another one back there okay and how long have you been here because i see you got a nice you know riverfront view yeah it, it almost seems like i've been down here since 2016. 2016 what brought you down here if you don't mind me asking well i i just saw that there's a tent down here uh -huh. i was new in town in 2016 and about the time I came down here, and I was from Quincy, Illinois. Okay. Like, how did you fall into hard times, or did you choose this life? I basically grew up homeless with okay. my parents in, in Illinois, but we lived outside of uh, Quincy, Illinois. Some farmer was letting us use the corner of his uh, field to put our tents in. Okay, so you, this is kind of all you've ever known? Yeah. And then, how did you acquire all this stuff? All that is is his, but oh, so this is a whole other person, and and are you yeah. guys close friends? This is all, all mine, and I built this myself. So, do you, so do you mind walking me through like your day? So you sleep in here. Where yeah. do you where do you cook and eat, and how does that well, all I cook happen? I in my tent most of the time. But okay. I, I had a secondary, but I got storage stuff in it now. Got it. <laughs> so you've just been collecting over the years different yeah. things. Okay. Got so much I gotta put in there. Move my chair back out here. Sure. Well, I built it for a sitting there, but yeah. it's kind of roughed up since then. But. And how, how is the neighbors here? Are they nice? Are they kind? How yeah, are... we have order down here. And okay. We, we, we throw the dumb ones out. And, and how do you do that? We usually, we all come up on them and drop the tent roof and oh. tell them to get out. So you force them out if you have to? Yeah, if they won't leave, we force them out. Okay, and who, who in this area has been here the longest? These are all new, but I've been here since 2016, and Brian down the way has been here the longest. Okay. Besides me. Okay. Brian's been here for about four years now, and 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 is that is I've been here since 2016. Right. Two, about six, eight years. Wow. And do you feel that uh, a lot of people down here came down here from like doing drugs, or is how is how's the how's well, that problem down here? Well, they usually so most of the people down here is like military and. They come home and don't have anywhere really? to go. And, really? Yeah. Do you ever use any kind of substances? No, I don't, but I don't know about the others. But And how do you how do you kind of stay sane while in a living situation the way you, you live? Well, I'm kind of used to the life. Right. From growing up like it. But. Okay. How do, you, how do you make money and how do you like buy the foods and, and sodas well, that you have? Well, I'll show you something else I did. Sure. I did paintings of Taylor Swift. And oh, wow. I do these. Oh, wow. And you I, sell those? Yeah. Where do you sell those at? Usually take them downtown. The Virgin Mother Taylor Swift. Heavenly Swifty. <laughs> that is real cool. Yeah, I put the Y on it because I got it off even. But. Yeah, that, that's cool. I like that. All hail Taylor Swift. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Thank you so much for... Uh, I, I made up my own background there, but... Yeah. Here I took it off the Lover album. That is awesome. I really like that. Do you... Uh, Stay up to, to date with her music? Uh, I haven't heard her newer ones. Okay, but, well, cool. Well, I know she's got a new tone. Yeah, she's doing great. She's dating a, a big football player now, too, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. They're a big deal. Have you heard about him? Uh -uh, I haven't heard of him yet. Well, 
I, last I knew, she was dating some some uh, British actor. <laughs> yeah, and now she now she's dating a football player, and I guess he's pretty famous. She made him pretty famous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, being the world's most famous, she did. Exactly, made him famous. <laughs> exactly, that's what some will say. Well, cool, man, Jason. Thank you so much for allowing us to come into your home. There's five yeah, bucks. I hope it. it can get you somewhere and get you something. Yeah, I already got seventeen, so I'll just add that. To there you go. What is that? Twenty three now. Do you yeah. mind if we get a quick shot of inside of your tent? Yeah, I got the book, textbook down there. Sh show us. Yeah, that's the textbook there. Wow. That's thick. So that's the that's what's gonna be the Bible right there, right? Yeah. You have a good one, all right? Thank you. Stay safe. Yeah. So there's definitely some characters living down here. I'm not gonna judge his religion or anything. That's what he believes in. It's his new religion that he's creating. The Holy Swifty Church. May Taylor bless his soul. That is the biggest Swifty I've ever encountered myself. It's interesting. Let's keep moving on and let's see what other people we can encounter down here as well. So Jason said that the person that was here longer than he was is Brian right here. So let's see if we can talk to Brian. And Brian builds bikes as you can see. Hey Brian! All right, so I don't think Brian is there, or at least maybe he's sleeping or not wanting to answer us. So we're gonna keep on moving and see who else we can find down here and uh, see what else is going on. Let's go check out Swamps. Hey, Swamp! Swamp, you in here? So as you can see, he has a full-on kitchen right here where he prepares his food and then that's his sleeping area. So one thing I wanna point out is I was curious about where do these people use the restroom? As we can see behind us, this is a vacant Porter potty, which I'm guessing is put down here for the quote unquote river people. I usually do this in restaurants, but I feel the need to do this. Come with me. Oh God. And this is Jake's bathroom review. I am so surprised how clean this is. This is cleaner than the Coachella restroom. What the heck? Just breathing that in, I would just sleep there on a cold night. That was a 10 out of 10 porta potty if I can say so. So right off of the river on the left side, on the right side over here, there's a whole village of people. As you can see, I don't know if there's actual people back there, but there's definitely housing. Here's a worker right here, a park and rec worker. Let's see what he thinks about all this. What do you think of all of this? This is not, where is it more crazy? All the way down? Oh, by the downtown. There's more people that live on the, on the side of the river? No way. Okay, maybe we'll have to go. We're gonna check that out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, buddy. Do you know where he's talking about? Where like there's more of the the homeless living? Yes. Like where's the biggest homeless camp at? The biggest one, man. It, it's a, it'd be a long walk. It would be okay. If I drove, where would I like park up at? Yeah, I'm gonna let them know. Yeah, tell them you pay your taxes and you're gonna have the city be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys required to clean up after them or what? Like, yeah. a, you guys have to do that. That's what your job is. How do you feel about that? We clean up where people, you know, defecate on the ground. Oh, wow. Shovel it up. And see, that's kind of sucks because think about you pay taxes and stuff and like you're paying and these people are kind of living for free. Yeah. Is there a big like substance problem? Is that what brings them down here or what do you think it is? Drink or drugs and uh, a lot of them mental problems too. Okay. I would say 50 to 60 percent. You know they got mental problems. Do you think we'll, we'll have any trouble be walking into the camps, or do you think we're uh, it's pretty safe? During the daytime you'd be fine. I wouldn't go over there at night. Okay. Good to know. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. God bless. Okay, so that's a little bit more information from the local workers here at Parks and Recs. They just told us that they're literally responsible for cleaning up the defecations of these people. As you can see, it's just a complete mayhem in there and they're required to come out and clean it up. They're not too happy about it, but let's go see what these bigger camps are like. Hey there, do you mind if we have a, a, a quick chat? How are you? I'm Brennan, this is my brother Jake. Uh, do you live in here? What's, what's your name? Jeff. Jeff. How long have you lived in here? Um, I just moved in here like about two or three weeks ago. Actually. Okay. And, and what brought you down here, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I had to move from a place up on, okay. the, on the park side. On the park side. Yeah. And you found this area. Was it vacant when you come, or is there a bunch of different people who live in here well, right there now? Was, uh, this guy was here, and then there's another guy over there. Uh huh. And so I already knew one of them. Okay. So I talked to them. And, and how is it? Are the people very friendly in here? We just met a couple people who lived right off of, off the river right there, and they were really friendly. Yeah, Swan. 
up or so, yeah, yeah, we met J Jason over there. Jason? Yeah. Uh, yeah I know he Jason. was showing us about his Taylor Swift Bible that he's working on. Uh, uh, yeah. would, would you be interested in joining that church of his? He's creating a church for Taylor Swift. Well, I did not know that, but I probably will decline. <laughs> Respectfully, of course, yeah, right? Obviously, yeah. Okay. okay, would you be interested in showing us how you how you live down here? Is that okay? I ain't got a problem with that at all. Okay. Right? So come on. Sure, give us a tour if you don't mind. Like there really wasn't even a pathway. Really. You made this pathway. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, no, it definitely is a walkable pathway. You don't have to worry about late at night poking your eye out on one of these twigs, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, so this this whole area is yours right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you've definitely done some building I see here. What yeah, are you working on? I just started on? this, right? So to me, it's important, like on bad days, to have a place to warm up some hot food. Of course. Right? This is will, will be this your cooking area. Be, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Wow. And have you? I like to cook. Sure. What do you cook? Pancakes. Chili's, spaghetti. Maybe you have to cook us something Same sometimes. things that you eat at home. That's what I like to cook. Okay. Yeah. What we usually do is we like to go to restaurants and do food reviews. Maybe we'll have to come to your really? spot and do a review. Well, see, what's interesting is I used to be a man that had a lot. Okay. Right? And, and so you would find me in places like Aspen, getting you know the nice fajitas. Oh, nice. It didn't bother me to spend two or three hundred bucks on a really good meal. Sure. And even when I lived in a nice house, like I would have to have all them nice stainless steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah every spice and stuff like that and so if you so don't you still live like that exactly child. exactly and if you don't mind me asking this how did you go from that life to this life that you're living here now now that is a very very long story maybe you that, can... that man does not have enough battery <laughs> right because it's like seriously a god thing okay right? and so there's so many twists and turns and sure stuff like that. okay okay unfortunately we don't have enough time to hear his full story in this video so if you want to see us try jeff's cooking and hear more of how he got here hit the like button on this video well, we can save that for another time, maybe when you're cooking for us. Suggest that. Okay, okay. And, and you so built this it, from scratch too. Oh well, yeah, with pallets. Wow. Like and where do you I find those pallets? Windows. That used to be a pallet. Wow. And I where do you it. find all this stuff? Is it just like excess stuff that's left around? Yeah, dumpsters. Like if somebody's doing a remodel and there's a piece of wood that wow. will not fit that particular need they have, and they throw it away, and I'm like, cool. Finders keepers, right? Yep. <laughs> all of this now. If you don't mind, continue the tour. If you, if no, I don't mind. Sure. What, what do you want to see? I want, I want to see it all. I, want, I mean, this looks right. like you've gathered on a lot of stuff. Or you said you were here for only a couple weeks. Inside my tent. Sure. I'm not afraid. All right, let's do it. So oh, I managed wow. to save oh. up like 150 bucks. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I was able to get a nice tent. Okay. But you see, I keep it clean for the most part. Yeah, you're you know? very organized. It's way cleaner than my place. <laughs> yeah. And I, I live with them, so. Right. So, well, and that's some artwork I was doing. Sure, let's see what, it. Would you want to show it to us? Yeah, go ahead and step in there. Okay. You look at it. And you'll see the whole back room is full of dream catchers. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on in, too. There's enough room. But then I had to leave that piece wow. of property up there where I had them displayed. Yeah. And so I brought them down here. Those are really cool. And so, do you have a job to make money? Like, how do you make um, money? I was selling the contributor newspaper, uh -huh. and then I was able to save up enough money to get the tent, okay. some shoes, some materials to start building those, actually. Sure. And I see that you're building, uh, it looks like, a, with yeah, a, the cross. Yeah, it's going to be a wall-hanging castle. Oh, wow. wow. That's truly amazing. And what brought you here to Nashville? It's a God thing. Another the long God story. thing. Okay, right? we're going to save that. We're going to have, yeah. if you guys want to see us do this, hit the thumbs up right now. We're going to sit back with you. You're going to cook us a meal. We'll bring all the ingredients for you to make it, all right? Uh, whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> I'm not opposed to talking to people. Okay, cool. I'm like a radio with no off button. There, there you go. <laughs> so you, so you just keep going. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. And this, so this is your sleeping situation. Do yeah. You, do you and feel? This is like my uh, crystal chandelier. Wow, it lights. Look at that. Yeah. And I found that in a dumpster and the batteries were inside. Look at that. Wow, people throw away trash. They throw away everything, huh? Yeah. I mean, you look really well kept. How do you stay clean? Well, uh, I do my laundry. Oh, you do? Yeah. And, and is, there, is there any kind of like services out here in Nashville that are like to help people who are living on the streets and like, you know, to clean their stuff or get them showers or? Yes, they're, they're, they have all of that and it's really, really cool, right? But it's all 1.9 miles that Oh, way. So it's a little bit right. of a distance. And so I'm kind of guy like, why would I go through all that when I can just do my own laundry? Right, right exactly. People lived without plumbing. This is really hard for people to believe. Humans have been alive longer than there's been inside electricity and running water. Yeah, no, I know that. I mean, it's a very strange thing. So when you say you do your own laundry, are you talking about in the Cumberland River right here? No, I uh, get two gallons of fresh water a day and I have detergent right here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's called a five gallon bucket water. Wow, and you really do it do it right there and just you let it hang dry? Right there, yeah. Amazing. Okay, well cool. That's why you don't see dirty laundry over here. Yeah, no, I see it's very clean. You got your own carpet. I feel I feel like I almost should take my shoes off while walking into your place. I'm telling you. 
It's very nice. Yeah. You got a nice way of living. You got to have your clothes. They have to be on a water shelf because the moisture inside a tent. Sure. You'll get mildew. Yes. It was a good conversation, and we want to definitely come back and do something else. Yeah, I feel free because you know what. It is, um, there are so many sides to the homeless community, sure. right? Because I have lived in the upper end of mm-hmm. with the top 2% of the income earners in America, right? I've lived upper middle, in both middle classes, blue collar, white collar. And in every part of our society, it's widely understood that there are different qualities of people within that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But for some reason, there is nobody really saying, hey, you know what, possibly within the communities of those who live outside of sheetrock and running water we might find the same thing if we look yeah that is true i never really even thought of that myself yeah well you seem like a cool guy and definitely yeah. his name was jeff right yeah definitely want to talk again sometime so you're always here that's where i Pretty can find much. you unless you know sure we'll come the movie we'll come shows scre- up. yeah <laughs> thank you yeah, again yeah. jeff appreciate hey, you it. you're an thank awesome you guy us. we just got out of this campsite over here and let me tell you that guy was cool i really like jeff Dude, he, he did not seem like he was coming not at all. It's almost like he chose this life. And like you said, he did. He lived all the different types of uh, classes of life. High class, middle class, and now he's living in a lower class. But he loves it. I honestly feel like he has money. He was dressed way too nice. I don't know. All I know is that we've only talked to three people. And each person has been interesting and had their own thing about them that I love. So I can only imagine what we get to next. This might be an hour long video, but it's worth it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's a car down there. All right, you guys, that is the campsite we need to visit, but I think this is more than a campsite for this video. This is a village. So if you wanna see us go check out that village and talk to the people in there, hit the thumbs up on this video right now. Let us know if you guys are liking this content because it'll make us wanna do more. Pick up some merch, brennantaylor.com. As you can see, I'm repping this. This is gonna allow us to keep doing crazy videos like this. So until next time, I love you guys. Jake, we gotta find our way down there. <laughs> We're gonna have to jump. I don't know how. We'll figure it out, but you guys will see you in the next one. Peace. What the hell? This is the village entrance. Oh my god, he's cooking back there. No way. Look at him all, look at him all, look at him all. He just kept them. What the? He's probably buying custom bikes from that one dude. Oh shit. Part two, coming soon.